YouTube. Welcome to an almost with Salmon Eye project video. Right now, I'm driving small horns uh, and I will buy some co horns because my plan is to craft a drinking horn with a Swiss Army knife. So stay tuned. So my friends, I'm back home and sadly it wasn't allowed to film in the slaughterhouse, but hey, <coughs> here are my objects of desire. <laughs> and the best is, the core is already removed and uh, removing the core is probably the dirtiest working step uh, if you want to make a drink horn. And uh, hey, they cost less than two Swiss francs, dollars or euros each. And if you consider that they already removed the car uh, or the bone, uh, it's nothing. And <laughs> yeah, <laughs> okay, I would say <laughs> they have a special aroma, uh, not that strong. But believe me, you don't want to drink out of this, of this horn at this stage. But I have a plan how to clean it, but for that I have to go in the forest. And uh, that's why I would say uh, see you later in the forest. So these are the horns I got from the slaughterhouse. And uh, the first step is to clean them inside from all material which can rot. And uh, before I do this, I will put them next to an end seal and I'm curious how well the ends will clean them inside. So let's try out. So welcome back. Now it's exactly three weeks ago since I placed the horns here in this wood pile next to an ant hill. And uh, of course it takes me extremely wonder if they still smell or not. Perfect. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> of course, horn has a, this, this this material has a certain smell, a little bit, but but this uh, stinky taste from rot material is totally gone. It's totally away. That's perfect. And I'm sure this is because of the ants. If such horns stings like crazy, the problem is, or the, the, the main problem is, that you have something like a membrane, uh, like a skin, between the bone core and the horn sheath. And uh, if you remove the core, often the skin uh, is still on the horn sheath. And this starts to rot. And, and uh, ants and, and other animals and insects, they eat all organic material which can rot. That's, that's really amazing. But nevertheless, I want to clean it even more. And uh, I want to also disinfect it. And how I do this, I'll show you right now. So, I selected the horn. I want to work with and uh, now I place it in a, in a container, in this case it's an old uh, tin can pan that the horn has a stable stand like this. For the next cleaning step after the ends I use such dental cleaning taps. So I fill up the horn with water and put in one or two of these taps and I hope that they remove 
uh, uh, the last leftovers uh, from fat or, or, or skin or whatever. If you don't have such taps, you can also use baking soda and water. After one hour, I empty out the horn. And now I try to scrub out uh, skin and fat residues with this steel wool ball and a stick. Like this. Now, the horn smells like a peppermint chewing gum. <laughs> now I dry the horn with a tissue. So, after the cleaning process, next step is to disinfect the inside of the horn. And the best thing to do it is for sure hydrogen peroxide. But uh, I don't want to work in the nature with such heavy stuff. Uh, that's why I take 80% alcohol, this is rum, and this works also. Now I let the alcohol do its work for an hour. So this is done. So next step is to seal the inside surface. You can do this with uh, melted beeswax, but uh, this is only good for cold drinks. Uh, you can do it with uh, food safe varnish. This is not that easy available. And uh, I do it with linseed oil. This is pure linseed oil, uh, same as you use for your salad dressing. Uh, the only disadvantage of this oil is it needs a lot of time for drying. So uh, linseed oil has the property that it dries uh, at the air, but uh, it needs five, six, seven days. That's the reason why I will do the outside work first and uh, at the very end I will seal the inside with linseed oil. So the only tool you need to craft a nice and smooth outside surface is a Swiss army knife. First step is to cut away these protruding pieces like here or like here and uh, this one I just cut away like this
So if the calving work is done and if the protruding pieces are cut away, I take the saw, the wood saw, and now I use the wood saw like a file, like this. And with the wood saw I flatten these bumps like this. And of course much safer is to work on a stump like this than on your knees or on your legs. So, if the rough bumps are flattened with the wood saw, you can start to make a smooth surface with a, with a knife blade. And uh, this you make by just strapping in the direction of the horn fibers, like this. So, this needs a bit of time, this needs a bit of patience, but uh, hey, we are under nature. We have time. Before I finish the scrapping work, I clean the rim. And this I make with the wood saw. So I guess this is okay. And now I finish the scrapping work. So, after a bit more than an hour, the scrapping work is done. Now, I have to polish the surface. And I do this with this chrome and glass ceramic polish for kitchen. That's for sure a better polish uh, option than this, but uh, this works also. So, I take a rack. Put a bit of this polish on the rack and start to polish.
And yes, with the buffing wheel, you could do this work much, much faster. But uh, hey, we are in the nature. No buffing wheel here. So, the outside of the horn is polished and uh, <laughs> it's crazy, wonderful, isn't it? So, last step is to seal the inside surface with a uh, linseed oil and this is what I want to do now so I put in a little bit linseed oil this is enough and now I turn the, ho the, the horn like this that the whole inside uh, surface is covered with linseed oil This is my horn, I like it, and the inside surface is covered with linseed oil, and uh, what I have to do now is to let dry the linseed oil on the inside, this takes probably several days, I try to speed, to speed up this process with the hair dryer, and as soon the linseed oil is, is dried inside, I come back and test the horn. So now it's four days later and the linseed oil in the horn had time to dry out uh, and I, tr I tried to uh, speed up the process with a hair dryer 10 minutes and I would say that feels totally dry. That it works with cold drinks that's clear for me but uh, I'm not 100% sure if this works with hot drinks and that's why I make a tea on the campfire now. That's perfect. So I can smell a strange taste or something. It seems to work. If you know more, if a linseed oil sealed horn works for hot drinks or not, please let me know in the comments. In my opinion it works. So, I hope this was an interesting project for you. Thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and see you next Friday. Ciao!